Welcome back. I'm sure you heard the breaking news yesterday about this time. A train carrying congressional Republicans collided with a garbage truck near Charlottesville, Virginia, killing one person in the garbage truck, injuring six others. The train was carrying House and Senate Republicans along with their spouses and children to a policy retreat at the Greenbrier Resort in White Sulphur Springs when the crash occurred. No members of Congress nor their staff were injured. Several of the lawmakers, who are also medical doctors, rushed to try and save the men riding on the garbage truck. Officials say the truck driver was killed and another truck passenger was critically injured. Why are we talking about this? This brings us to our resident physician, Dr. Ali Kazarian, who just recently returned from our state capitol with the American College of uh, Surgeons, teaching representatives and others about trauma training and, and how to, what stop to do the in these. Bleed. Stop the Bleed. That's the name of the program, right? Yep. You can go to stop, uh, stopbleeding.org uh, and you can just Google Stop the Bleed and, and you can learn about ways that bystanders can be lifesavers. And, and unfortunately, there are situations that we see all the time. We talk about this all the time uh, of ways, at, you know, Vegas. Uh, yeah, Sandy sure. Hook kind of started this, the Hartford con Convention, uh, the American College of Surgeons looked at ways that uh, we could have done better uh, of getting people uh, to the hospital alive. And yeah. that's basically the, the concept of this. And, and I mean, the, 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 we have this bag, I put this here, this bag is a, a massive, super heavy backpack we have right next to the, the studio, um, and it's our medical bag. And it has all kinds of stuff in here, that you know, standard, standard things, um, but what you're talking about with Stop the Bleed is Even more traumatic situations where the most important thing to do is stop the bleeding, right? Yeah, so, so think about the ABCs. So, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that, that you are safe. You know, you don't want to enter a situation that, that uh, you're entering, that that situation creates more work for, uh, one, put you in, in harm's way, but, but now we have more people to take care of. So, so if a situation is search, think about it. First thing you want to do is alert. Call okay. 911. You know, yep. and, and the thing about that sometimes, uh, people just yelling out, call 911. That's not a thing to do. Either you call 911 or you tell someone to call 911. Yeah, look somebody in the eye and be like, you call 911, tell them this. So, so I'll yeah. be like, Curtis, call 911. Or you tell me, Ali, call 911. Because that uh, it, it puts the, the uh, impetus on someone to do that. If we just yeah. yell it out loud, people are just kind of looking around and seeing what to do. So that's right. one thing, alert. The other one is bleeding. You want to look and find the, the source of bleeding. And the other thing is, is life altering or, or, or life threatening bleeding. You know, bleeding that, you know, blood spurting out, yeah. blood that's pooling on the ground. And, and, or if you find someone who's bleeding and is unconscious or, or they're losing, uh, they're, 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 they're getting unconscious, they're confused. Yeah. Those are things that are very, very important uh, if they're soaking clothing. Those are the things that are important, not little bleeding, you know. So, so, what, so on the back of your shirt, you have some of the steps there, but what, uh, what are you guys? important thing. To, yeah. And this shirt basically, I think, is, uh, you know, we're looking at the So the, on the front of the yesterday. shirt kind of said, this shirt can save a life. And, and if you kind of look at the back of it, it kind of talks about essentially... If the, someone the, is the, bleeding out and it says first 911 call and then press and then hold and stop the bleed. And so... So we talked about alert bleeding and, and the third part of this compress apply pressure and and, and so uh, you can do this in a number of different ways the simplest way is to cover the wound you know you're, you're you see something bleeding put pressure on it in, in, a, in a variety of different ways the other one is a tourniquet you know you, that's uh, the one a lot of people the the, uh, the bracelets that came out the survivor bracelets that have the the string that you can undo and create a tourniquet anywhere they actually you know you can actually go to the to, to the website the american college of surgeon website you can go to the this uh, bleedingcontrol.org so again bleedingcontrol.org you can go there and they you can actually sell they sell different kits that include a, a great tourniquet with with a compressing device that you can put on there and again when you're putting a tourniquet on you need pressure it's yeah. going to hurt and, and you want to be mindful, especially if people have a, 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 uh, a loss of a limb or a partial loss of a limb. You know, this is something that you're trying to control life-threatening bleeding. Um, what are the basics of applying a tourniquet? What are the basic, you know, things like, okay, obviously above, the, between so, the wound and the heart? So the big thing that you want to do is if you're, if you're near a, a joint, you don't want to put it on the joint. So you want to be above the joint. Okay. So that's the thing. And obviously you want to be above the, the source of a bleeding. So if I had an injury and I, and I had lost portion or, or uh, below my yeah. elbow, you don't want to put it right here. You want to kind of go above okay. uh, uh, the, the source of the bleeding. So that's a big thing. And then you want to put enough pressure to stop the bleeding. The basic tenet of the stop the bleed concept is that you're trying to put pressure on the vessel to the point that you stop the bleed. Yeah. You know, you want to stop bleeding. And, and, and the idea of this whole concept is that you want to get people's bleeding control to the point that they're alive when they get to the hospital. The other thing is deep wounds. 
Yeah. You know, so if someone has a wound that's got, you know, bleeding that's coming out, it's spurting out that you're seeing in there, you take your shirt off. You find things. If you have a, if you have a 911 kit like this, yeah. they do have wound uh, and dressing and gauze and things like that that you can pack into the wound to compress and, and stop bleeding. So again, it's all compression and, and all this idea of stopping uh, of bleeding in a way that gets people alive and to the hospital. So the variety, and again, you want to be mindful that if you don't have a 911, uh, you don't have a a, a, a kit, a first aid kit, yeah. you can make do with things. And again, a lot of people did this in, in Vegas. They, they, That's the they, point they of the, do. the shirt, uh, talking about the shirt can save a life. Yeah. So, I mean, literally your shirt and then you know, you put on pressure the wound, you on don't them, have it. You I mean, know. This, this kit has, you know, a bunch of towels and things like that, obviously, and some tape. I mean, can you use duct, duct tape is good for everything. Can you use duct tape as a tourniquet? Well, you want to be very careful with, with, because of the amount of pressure that this could put may not be enough. So that's the idea with the tourniquet is, is that- Really? The, the, yeah, so, so the idea with the tourniquet is that um, the tourniquets that come with the device and the thing, not only do you put pressure on there, you make an, it, it actually comes with a, with a tourniquet that has a, a, a marker in the kit that you can put time. You want to be, be mindful of what time that you put on there, but this may not be enough pressure. You know, because, because it can it can have give. You know, you actually have to put a significant amount of pressure to, to this, stop bleeding. This is fascinating. So this this stop the bleed campaign. How can people out there? I mean, we had we had uh, uh, EMT come and do some for our, yeah, sure. our staff Dr. here. Dr. Orchi or Orchitis. We're actually DC, uh, in, a, in Tallahassee. What, what can them out there do? Where can they go to find one of these? Bleedingcontrol.org or uh, facs.org. The the, the 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 American College of Surgeons. Again, Google this stuff. You can you can find not only information. They have a great great pamphlet that you can print out that has very very simple but very very informative uh, 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 pictures and inform great information about how you can become a lifesaver and learn and you can look and where and see where uh, education and, and, and classes are being done to, to teach this and and reach out um, can literally uh, save a life and, and the American College of Surgeons has done, done a great job with this program of teaching all of us uh, to be more informed so yeah. that if a situation, uh, as unfortunate it is that, that these things come up yeah. as often, but you want to be mindful. And again, reach out. You know, we want to, to have more of these things in place. So call your legislators and tell them that we, we love the American more College of Surgeon Program. We want more of more these, you know. these, these, uh, these products in our schools. We want them in our football stadiums. Yeah. We want them in the places. So help us get those there. For more information uh, on Dr. Kazrayan, you can head to Dr. Kazrayan's website, which is kazrayanurology.com, or you can listen to him live and call into his radio show, The Conversation. It's on WOKV, and it airs every Saturday starting at 5 p.m.